Hey, it's Miss Christina bringing a brave story time today. Are you ready? Me too. Okay, it's time for a story. Now we're going to read Tiny T-Rex and the Very Dark Dark, written by Jonathan Stutzman. It is our first camp out in the backyard, and we are nervous. We have never slept outside before. Have you slept outside before? We are mighty beasts. I am a Rex, pointy as a pointy, and Bob is my special squish. But even mighty beasts get scared if we can't sleep with our nighty lights. When I am inside, the dark doesn't seem so dark. But when I'm outside, the dark is very dark. Outside, there is no nighty lights to turn on. And when there are no nighty lights, the grumbles and nombies come out. There's always a light shining somewhere, Tiny, even in the dark. If you are brave and look hard enough, you will find it. But it is hard to be brave when you are scared of the crawly creeps. And it is hard to look for something when you have your eyes shut. Pointy and I thought up a secret plan to be brave. When the very dark dark comes, we will be ready. First, we will build a hiding fort. To hide our snacks and ourselves. And look, they're building their fort. Hmm, I don't feel hidden. Do you think he's hidden? Might need a bigger fort. Next, we will make special helmets to protect our brains from the grumbles and nombies. Hmm. I need a bigger helmet. The next part of the plan is the most important. We must hurry. We are running out of time. The crawly creeps are closing in. Tap, 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 tap. I hear the grumbles. They're close. Snore. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Red pointy, the nombies are here. This is it. Our secret plan is almost ready. What does it look like they're doing? Now we will not be scared of the very dark dark because we have made a super bright 90 light. Click. What a beautiful nighty light. Uh-oh, our plan did not work. The very dark dark has got us. I'm scared. Pointy is scared. Bob is scared. We're all scared together. Maybe we can be brave together too. Brave enough to open our eyes, look very very hard. What do you think they're going to see? <gasps> Ooh, what is it they see? <gasps> and find some light. They found the stars. The end. Okay, it's time for a song. We're going to do the itsy bitsy spider. Ready? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. This time we'll do an itty bitty spider. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. 
Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Good job. Okay, it's time for a story. This time we're going to read When You Are Brave, written by Pat Miller. Some days when everything around you seems scary, you have to be brave. Brave is a bird that steps from its nest, hoping to soar through the sky. Brave is a dog that wanders for miles, searching for one well-known light. Brave is a caterpillar that builds a bed, wondering when it will wake. Because some days are full of things you'd rather not do. Like plunging into a pool all by yourself, hoping you'll swim and not sink. Or standing alone in front of a crowd, searching for one friendly face. Or boarding the bus and riding it to school, wondering what lies ahead. At times like these, the world can seem too big, too loud, too hard, too much. While well, you feel too small, too quiet, too tired, not enough. On those days, look deep inside to find the courage you need. It might be hidden away, but... If you close your eyes and breathe, you will see it shining its light in the dark, warm, steady, safe. Your light might be small to start, just a spark, but it can turn into a flame. Picture in your mind, then imagine it becoming bigger and bolder. You can make your courage so big it brightens your heart, fills your fingers, and flows to your toes. Think about what you're good at, something you love, or someone who loves you. No one else will see it, but you'll know you glow, and you'll know you are ready. No matter how deep the water, how loud the crowd, how hard the ride, or how much there is to do, you might struggle, you might succeed. People might clap or laugh or not notice at all. No matter what happens, you'll be all right. Because once you find your courage, it's easy to use again and again. The next time life seems scary, or you start something new, you can remember when you were brave, and then you can stand straight and walk tall. Knowing you are as brave as a bird, a dog, and a caterpillar. As brave as you. The end. Okay, it's time for a song. And now we're going to do This Old Man. And we're going, we're going to go up to number five.
This old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on my drum. With a knick-knack paddywhack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played two. He played knick-knack on my shoe. With a knick-knack paddywhack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played three. He played knick-knack on my knee. With a knick-knack paddywhack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played four. He played knick-knack on my door. With a knick-knack paddywhack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played five. He played knick-knack on the hive. With a knick-knack paddywhack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Good job. And now it's time for a craft. Today, we're going to be making a 90 light, just like Rex, created by Bugsy and Buddy. And here's their website, in case you want to see the other awesome crafts they have to offer. Now, some of the things we'll need is, of course, paper, watercolors, black and white paint or markers or crayons, and a paintbrush. The first thing we want to do is to use our blues and purples to create our night sky and then let it dry completely. Once dry, we can use our paint or markers to create our tree. And we can use our white paint or crayons to add in our stars. And you now have your very own 90 light, just like Rex. Well, that's it for today, but don't forget, we have a bunch of other virtual story times just waiting for you on our YouTube channel and our YouTube playlists. Or you can go to cityofcorona.com backslash library for all of our additional e-media. And don't forget, we still have our click, park, and pick up, which is super easy and my favorite. And if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time.